We often define ourselves by things that are outside of us. Our jobs, our relationships, the roles that we play in life. And when we lose those things, who we are and everything that we believed in is challenged. As a cross-country skier and member of the Australian ski team headed towards the Winter Olympics, I was on a training bike ride with my fellow teammates. As we made our way up towards the spectacular Blue Mountains west of Sydney, it was the perfect autumn day. Sunshine, the smell of eucalypt and a dream. Life was good. We'd been on our bikes for around five and a half hours when we got to the part of the ride that I loved and that was the hills because I loved the hills. And I got up off the seat of my bike and I started pumping my legs and as I sucked in the cold mountain air I could feel it burning my lungs and I looked up to see the sun shining in my face. And then everything went black. I'd been hit by a speeding utility truck with only 10 minutes to go on the bike ride. I was airlifted from the scene of the accident. By the time the helicopter arrived at Prince Henry Hospital in Sydney, my blood pressure was 40 over nothing. I was having a really bad day. <laughs> One part of me was in intensive care and excruciating pain. The other was detached and pain-free. After 10 days, I made the choice to return to my body. But then the doctor came over and said to me, you're going to have to rethink everything you do in your life because you are never going to be able to do the things you did before. And I did get depressed. And I'm not talking about I'm having a bad day, but the sort of depression where you think, why did I ever come back to this body? But I remembered that I had made a choice to come back to this body and I needed to know why. And so I decided that I would make another choice. And that was to accept not only my body, but the circumstances of my life. And I thought to myself, maybe rock bottom is actually the perfect place to start. An aeroplane flew over my house. And I thought, if I can't walk, then I might as well fly. I learned to navigate. I flew around Australia. And then I became an aerobatics flying instructor. I now know that it wasn't until I let go of who I thought I was that I had the freedom to create something completely new for my life. When you choose courage in the face of fear, you defy the things that hold you back from greatness. And Janine Shepherd joins us now. Tell us, what's the biggest lesson you learn from everything you've experienced? You know, as an athlete, I defined myself by my body. I thought that was my strength. And when I lost that, I had to look elsewhere. And, and that really, um, to me, um, highlighted the power of the defiant human spirit. And I think that's something that we all have. And when we connect with that, then anything is possible. to move towards our collective bliss it's time we shed our focus on the physical and instead embrace the virtues of the heart so raise your straws if you'll join me thank you